Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, finally we have come to the session. We have come into that phase of our preparation wherein I am telling you how to guess the options when it comes to the NEET examination. How to guess options correctly and wisely when it comes to the NEET examination. That is something I am going to tell you in the today's session. But my dear students, one thing I will tell you. Please and please whatever I will be telling you in this particular session. Consider this as a last option. Okay. First of all, focus on your preparation. Once you are done with your preparation, once you enter into your examination hall, once you solve all the questions which you know, after that, whatever are the left out questions which you do not know exactly how to solve, for them, you can use the tricks and tips which I am going to let you know in this particular session, which is how to guess the options wisely when it comes to the NEET examination, particularly this year, your NEET 2025 examination. Okay, so my dear students, there are a few important things which you have to take into consideration. The first and the most important point, the unit value words that get repeated the most is usually the correct option. Okay, what does that mean? For example, there's the question which is asked in NEET 2023 examination. Okay, I'm not reading the question. I'm just looking at the options. And my dear students, in the options, see which options are repeated here. If you look here, I can see increases by the factor. Increases by the factor. Increases by the factor. Okay, so my dear students, over here, you are going to make this as the cross. So B cannot be the answer. Okay, there is highest probability that your B is not going to be the answer. Okay, so your answer lies between A, C and D. Okay, this is your first trick my dear students which you have to keep into your mind. Perfect, I will say majority 99% of the times the options which are repeated the most the correct answer is among them only. Okay, point number one. For example, if you look at this particular question, its answer is option D basically. Its answer is option D basically, right? I know you guys are becoming happy after seeing this particular session. Yeah, that is evident. All right, let's have a look on one more question. Look at the options. I'm not reading the question. I have no, nothing to do with the question. Okay, look at the options exactly. See the unit here, angstrom, picometer, picometer, picometer. So I'm going to make this a cross. So the correct option is going to be between B, C and D. Okay, after that, it's definitely based on your luck, right? What you are going to select among these three, that's going to be the correct one. Okay. Like in this particular one, option B has to be the correct answer. Perfect. Similarly, my dear students, look at this particular question. The question which has been asked in NEET 2022 examination. I'm not reading the question. Okay, I'm not reading the question. I'm just looking at the options. Select the repeated options. See, if you see SCN negative, SCN negative, repeated, F negative, F negative, repeated. Here, nothing is repeated. So A and B are not going to be your answers. So the correct answer is either going to be C or D. Okay, that's my promise to you. Perfect. So here in this particular question, the correct answer is option C. Right? Now, my dear students, let's have a look on trick number two. Let's have a look on trick number two. When there's a relation shown, when there's a relation shown between formulas and the only difference lies in the sign, then those options often tend to be correct. For example, what does it mean? Let's say there's a question asked between a relation between delta H and delta U. Okay? My dear students, if you look at option B and option C, if you look at exact option B and option C, the only difference lies in the sign here, minus and plus. So definitely among B and C, your correct answer lies. I'm going to mark this as the cross. I'm going to mark this as the cross, right? Now it's definitely your luck, okay? Which one you will choose among the two? And definitely among one among the two is going to be the correct answer. Like in this particular question, option C is the correct answer. Perfect. Similarly, my dear students, for example, you have got a question, I've got nothing to do with the question, I'm not reading the question anymore. Perfect, I'm just looking at the options. See, CP plus CV is equal to R, CP minus CV is equal to R. So among these two, only difference lies in the sign. So among these two, there is one option is going to be correct. Perfect. First of all, I've got nothing to do with option A, I've got nothing to do with option B. So only difference that lies in the sign are option B and option C. So the correct answer is going to be among these two. Perfect. Now, similarly, my dear students, Similarly, my dear students, this is the most important one. Okay, have, an, have a proper eye on this particular one. In the numerical options, a value that is the largest or smallest may not be correct. So extreme values in the options, you are going to avoid. 
Therefore, try to check those options which are close to these values. What does that mean? If you look at this particular question, let's say I'm unable to solve this particular question. Okay. First of all, look at the values. Look at these numerical values. Which one is the minimum value? Minimum value is 1.12. Which one is the maximum value? Maximum value is 2.64. So these two are not, I'm not going to select. Most of the times, majority of the times, the answer is going to be among A and B. The answer is going to be among A and B. Now again, it's going to be your luck which one you are going to choose and which one is going to be the correct. So it's option B here. That is the correct answer out of this, these two. For example, have a look on this particular one. Look at the minimum value. Minimum value is 24 centimeter. Maximum value is 30 centimeter. So my answer is neither going to be A nor it's going to be C. Okay. So it's going to be either B or D. It's going to be either B or D. Perfect. Again, depending on your luck, whether you will choose B or D, one of the two is going to be the correct answer. Perfect. You can try all these things in the questions as well. And do let me know in the comment section. Once you try these tricks in the questions, do let me know in the comment section whether it's working or not. And do let me know the honest review. Okay. So in this particular question, option B was supposed to be the correct one. Let's say you've got one more question. Look at this properly. Look at the minimum value. Minimum value here is 1.2. Maximum value here is 150. Okay. Minimum value is 1.2. Maximum is 150. So I'm not going to mark them correct. So either is going to be option A or option D here, that's going to be correct. So again, it's going to be your luck, which one you'll choose, either A or D. So definitely D in this particular question is going to be the correct one. All right. I know you guys are enjoying it right now. Yeah. All right. Look at this particular one. In this particular question, look at your maximum value. Maximum value is 9.5. Minimum value is 1.25. Okay. I will select either C or D. I'm not going to select A or B. Perfect. So the correct answer among these two is going to be C or D. So definitely in this, uh, answer, in this question, your option C is the correct one. Okay. Similarly, my dear students, if you look at this question also, uh, the minimum value among all these is 0 0.2. I'm not going to mark this. The maximum value is 1.38. I'm not going to mark this. So intermediate values are C and D. So it's either going to be C or D. That's going to be the correct answer among these two questions. So it's option C which is correct, as you can see. Similarly, my dear students, look at the next question. Minimum value. Or avoid it. Maximum value, avoid it. The correct answer is either going to be A or D. It's either going to be A or D. As in this question, it's absolutely again going to be option A. Perfect. So people, again I'm telling you, again I'm telling you, do not use these tricks in your entire question paper. First try to solve as many questions as you can. Okay. After solving your questions, if there are some 10-15 questions left, okay, you can utilize this particular trick, okay, to get them correct. Okay, to minimize the mistakes. Now, similarly, let's say again one more question. Nothing, I'm not reading the question at all. Minimum value, as I can see here, is 2.5. This is not my answer. Maximum value is 26. This is not my answer. So my answer is either going to be C or D. Okay, C or D. As in this question, it's option D. That's the correct one. Similarly, my dear students, look at this one. Look at this one. Okay, again, you can use the same trick. Again, you can use the same trick. Look at this one. Again, you guys can use the same trick. X, I mean, remove the extreme lows and extreme highs. The intermediate ones are going to be the correct ones. Perfect. Right. The intermediate ones are going to be the correct ones. Now, the last and the final one, whenever you see your, those types of the questions wherein you have to check whether statement one is correct, statement two is correct, statement one is false, statement two is false. In these sort of questions, majority of the times what you'll observe, you'll observe one thing. Majority of the times, I would say, whatever questions have been asked in your NEET examination, after analyzing all those things, right, majority of the times, the correct answer is going to be statement one and statement two, both are correct. Okay, majority of the times. And those options wherein, I mean, those questions wherein the option is all of them. A lot of times, all of above is also correct. For example, this is one question which was asked in 2023. Okay, for example, I'm not knowing the question. I'll just mark it like this. Statement one and statement two. Statement one and statement two, both are true. I'm marking this as the correct one. Okay, so option B is the correct. Perfect. So my dear students, either statement 1, statement 2 are correct. Statement 1, statement 2 are false, are both false. Perfect. You can select these two basically. Okay, you can, you can give your luck to these two statements. Perfect. For example, you have got one more question. One more question says, Again, one question is here. I have nothing to do with the question. So my answer will be either B or it's going to be C. Either B or C. 
perfect either both the statements are true or both the statements are false majority of the times the answer lies between these two okay as in this question you can see option b is the correct answer of this particular question for example you have got one more question perfect i have no idea what the question says right i have no idea what the question says so here my answer is going to be all of the above here my answer is going to be all of the above okay similarly look at one more question my answer is going to be both the statements either true or both the statements false so among these two my correct answer lies so option b is the correct answer among these two perfect similarly my dear students if you look at this one need 2021 question perfect my answer lies between these two statement one statement true or statement one statement false statement two false so option c is the correct one perfect so my dear students again i'm repeating the same thing do not use these tricks in the entire paper just do one thing first try to solve as many questions as you can and once you are done with your questions after that you can follow this particular trick to get majority of your questions correct okay and one more important thing today i had some electricity issues at my studio so i could not take your today's marathon so my dear students tomorrow i'm scheduling this particular marathon wherein your complete class 11th physical chemistry i'll be starting this tomorrow exactly at 7 pm and i'll be discussing some six chapters in this particular session only with all of you the session duration is going to be almost 10 hours in 10 hours some six chapters from zero from scratch right till you master it i'm going to cover in the tomorrow session itself so do click on the video right now after clicking on the video do click on notify me so that you remain updated about the tomorrow session the session is exactly going to start at 7 pm tomorrow i would want every one of you to smash the like right now and my dear students click on notify me and i would want everyone to be with me tomorrow exactly from 7 pm so that your entire physical chemistry all the 60 marks you are going to cover from the tomorrow session only right so i'll be waiting for all of you Till then, you take care, God bless you all and love you all my dear students. Bye-bye.